was like late at night. It was probably like, I don't know, 1130-ish. And I was coming home from Manhattan into Brooklyn. Um, and the train was relatively empty, but I got on and I sat down and uh, this, at the same stop, this like clearly really f messed up dude got on with us and there were like seven people in the car, maybe, r whatever, roughly. And this dude was clearly fucked up. He was like stumbling around through the car and he, he was like kind of like bumping into the, the, the bars that were going up in between the, in the seats. And at one point he actually ended up taking off his belt. He took off his belt and just like held the two ends of his belt in his hand and was just like banging them against the bars. He was like stumbling around through the subway and just like banging them against the bars. Um, and everybody in the subway was like watching him. They had a really close eye on him. They were like, what is this crazy motherfucker going to do? Like he's clearly going to do something ridiculous right now. Um, so he, uh, it, the, the train ran for another few minutes and like a few more stops passed and he was still just like wandering around hitting bars. And eventually there was, there was one, there was just like a lone woman sitting on one of the, one of the benches, just totally by herself. And he sort of stumbled around and like slouched down right next to her and like scooted over really close to her. And everybody else on the train again was still watching. There were like four or five men who were just like sitting and watching this happen. And then he, this, this really messed up dude like scooted really close to this woman and like just like fell on top of her. And as soon as he touched her, like four guys jumped up, ran over to this dude grabbed him, picked him up, like threw him against the wall, put his arms behind his back and started like yelling at him like what are you doing? Like how dare you touch her? Like you, like just I don't I don't I don't really remember, but they were they just like pinned him against the wall and this dude was clearly too fucked up to have any idea what was going on. Um and then when we got to the next stop, they like they they had pinned him up against the doors. So as soon as we got to the next stop, they threw him out of the car and were like, get the fuck off this train. Like, what is wrong with you? Um, and then the doors closed and we kept going. And then like these four dudes just like sort of like stood and looked around and just like sat back down on the train. And that was the end of this. That was the end. So humanity plus one is all I have to say. <laughs>